What's up guys, with the iPhone 14 Plus, this thing has 6 gigs of RAM and the A15 chip inside of it and we're going to run some games on it, Genshin, Call of Duty, Diablo Immortal, Apex Legends and an Apple Arcade game, Gear Club at the end. Before we start, temperature checks. So the back right now is about 29 degrees, 30 degrees ish, 31, you know, not too bad. And on the front, yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. And also we have 86% battery, so let's just see how much these games drain it out. This video was shot in 120 FPS, so you guys can see every frame rate drop as it happens. So let's just get into it. Oh, oh okay, not a good start. Well, I guess combat first, and then we go to monster later on. But, yes. Right, uh, before we continue this fight, let's just quickly check our settings. Alright, so graphics-wise, we actually have set everything to the highest, and we're running at 60 FPS, so... So far, it's not performing terribly. And we're doing just fine. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't really expect my beetle out, but never mind. Yeah, I don't really, I don't seem to see any kind of like frame rate drops or anything. Uh, I just need to. And the last guy. And we're good. So combat so far, pretty okay. I haven't noticed any frame drops on my on my end. If you see anything, just leave a comment and maybe like and subscribe to this video and to our channel. So that'd be sick. But let's move on to Monstat and see what we have. All right, before we get into the Monstat check, let's do a temperature check because it's kind of feeling warm at the bottom down here. 37, 38, around almost 38. Oh, 838 down there. Yep. It's all about here. That's probably where the chip is at. Ish. I check the back. It's nice, it's a smidgen. Onwards. We have work to do. Uh, 35 ish around here. It gets really hot on here, yeah. 38, 39, almost 40 around this area, so that's where the chip's at. So I think the rest of it's fine, you know, but it's just this one spot here, but that's to be expected because it's you know it's Genshin. But yeah, let's just see how it performs in a crowded area. Not really picking up anything. Honestly. It's not that bad. I'd say so far, you know, I haven't really noticed any like major frame rate drops or anything. So it's actually holding up pretty well. Okay, let's go in. Actually, I need to change my party up and go there. But yeah, uh, before we enter the Spiral Abyss, we are currently at... Uh, 86% still, wow, and temperature-wise, it's at 43 now, and it's actually getting really hot around the, along the sides here, it is hella hot, 43, 42, yeah, it's, this whole phone's really heating up, okay, mm, collect them all, and then, uh, And yeah, that's it. Managed to do everything right, and let's see how much battery we have after this whole play session. It's about six, I think, about 15 10 minutes ish. Uh, we're down to 85%, so that's pretty all right at the high settings. And temperature wise, I'd say temperatures have actually cooled down. Yeah, they have cooled down quite a bit actually. From the 45 or 44 that was here just now, it was like 41, 40 now. So honestly, it's doing pretty all right. I mean, obviously, because it's open more, so that it'll take more RAM and what and whatnot to process the graphics. But yeah, it actually cooled down quite a bit. So yeah, 
So yeah, Genshin on the iPhone 14 Plus is uh, definitely yes. So let's just move on to Apex Legends. This video is brought to you by MSI. Meet the Summit E16 Flip, featuring the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor, RTX 30 series graphics, and a 16 inch Quad HD Plus touchscreen panel with a 360 degree hinge. It lets you unleash maximum productivity with up to 11 hours of battery life at just 2 kilograms. The Summit E16 Flip offers unprecedented performance and functionality, allowing you to work and play anywhere, anytime. Alright, so let's check the settings real quick. Settings, and graphics and audio. Uh, ultra frame rate, extreme HD graphics quality, everything else is turned on and high on high. So we're doing pretty good and let's just get into a game. We can go here if you want. Oh wow, so far. I mean, besides the rendering, like, besides the rendering of the map and everything, you know, it's building itself up pretty well. It feels really smooth. Doc will keep on reviving you, even if I have to go. Extended light right. here. Uh, okay, that's one down. But so far, even after all the engagements, not too bad. Heating up just a little bit, but we'll check that out in a bit. So. Okay, so before that, let's just check the temperature. 37, 38. Like Not too bad. 39 ish. But it doesn't feel like hot, but it's a bit warm, yeah, but it's not hot, hot. Like Genshin. Oh, there you are. So honestly, after all those engagements and everything, I think it's safe to say that Apex runs pretty damn well on the iPhone 14 Plus. And let's just do a final temperature check before we move to the next game. And the front is doing about 39, 32, 38 around there. On the bottom here where it's quite hot, it's like 42. This is where the chip's at. So yes, it does feel, it will get a little bit uncomfortable down here after a while, but that's a given. Let's check the back itself. Oh, 41, 40 on here, 42, 43, 39, 38, around there. Yeah, it's honestly all approaching about 40 to the bottom here, so honestly it's not that bad. But yeah, other than that, this thing runs pretty well. I'm trying to figure out where they're at. And yeah, uh, if we can get this kill, let's move to the next game. Yep. Right before we get into the next game, we are at 79% right now. And let's just do a temperature check before we get in. Just one more. So about still about 40, we're running in hot from Apex and Genshin on the same run. And, you know, it's still a bit hot, you know. I may want to let it cool down a bit just because it does get uncomfortable playing with it on the sides here especially because like you know these are very big games and they take up a lot of memory and GPU usage sort of things it will get hot so let's just after this I'm gonna let it cool down for a bit 
so that it's comfortable for me to play on. But other than that, here are the temperature results on this thing. And on the sides, just because it does get a bit hot. 35 degrees on the sides. Especially this side, because that's where the chip's at. Still about 35, huh? So, oh, 37. I see 37 right there. Thereabouts. Yes. So yeah, it will heat up on the sides here, especially these sides. So like, obviously, if you're going to be getting one of these phones, you might want to get a case as well. So that's one of the Call of Duty ones. This thing has cooled down a little bit. All right, now that it's rested a little bit, let's just check the temperature again. As I was saying before, the sides do heat up together with the rest of the back and ah, the, the whole phone actually. So let's just check the temperature. So everything's back to its base. I mean, it's a lot cooler now because we are in an air-conditioned environment. So take note of that. Uh, sides are at 28, 26. Everything's basically below 30, including the back. So yes, a bit cold to the touch, but nonetheless, comfortable to play with. So let's move on to the next game, uh, Call of Duty. All right, since we're in, Major Tomoko looks really good on the front page, but let's check the settings. Again, like I said, I have set up everything prior to playing the games, so everything very high. And the thing about frame rate is it's on very high as well. Everything is great. Multiplayer, let's just turn everything on. And we're good. Yeah. So let's just get into a game. All right, let's go. Sound is solid with the HD audio pack. Okay, let's move in. All right, first blood, let's go. Moldy. Oh no, oh, on the side. Smooth. Yeah, so far it's very smooth. Oh, sneaky fella. He's still up there. Oh, it's not. It's someone else. Oh, down, down, down. And my aim being terrible. But other than that, it runs very smooth. And honestly, no complaints. Let's hunt this guy on top. I'm guessing he's still there. Yeah, he is. This guy, forever, dude. I don't camper. Call doggy. And my dog's done. But yeah, no free rate drops, you know, it's playing very smooth. I'm actually having fun with this. Rudy. Ah, still my kill. There we go. There we go. Really enjoying the match on here. Oh. Timer. There we go. Nice after death kill, but yeah, it handles itself pretty well. No, it's not heating up at all. So starting with where the chip is at roughly. Yeah, it's all good. Everything is very comfortable. Right, let's check the back, uh, roughly where the chip is at. And honestly, the temperatures are actually pretty okay. I think they're lower than what we initially started off with. So yeah, that's, that's Call of Duty. Let's move on to Diablo Immortal. Another way here, let's check the settings real quick. Graphics, 60, yes. Ultra, oh, it doesn't support ultra, but on high. Yeah, sure, why not? Everything else is on very high, so. And reduce PvP effects, nah. I mean, we're not gonna do much PvP, more PvE. So let's just move on and play the game. Go around and just fight some demons and zombies and whatever. Let's see how this goes. I mean, so far there isn't much of an issue with all the other games. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. get out, get out, get out. Let's grab all that. Looks like we have a chest over here, some reflection. Double XP, if I'm not wrong. Just steamroll everyone. It's my elite necromancy skills, but yeah. 
No fear really drops or anything. I mean, yup, 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 it's pushing up. So I you don't pay attention to anything. But yes, it's doing very well. Lots of enemies, lots of fighting, lots of graphics, lots of units on the ground. We're doing fine. It's great, honestly. It feels, it feels good. It, the phone isn't hot at all. That's still a quick temperature check. And yeah, 30, 33, 35 around here. Everything is pretty much chill, honestly. The sides aren't heating up as much. The back, honestly, showing about the same signs. So we are all good and in the clear. Diablo Immortal is a go on the iPhone 14 Plus. All right, let's move to the last game, which is a Apple Arcade game. All right, next game. Uh, before we get into this, we are currently at, let's see, 71%, like I said before. And then, temperature check. Need to decrease the brightness just a little bit. Just a little. And then check the temperature. Yep, everything is still pretty much dandy. It's all good. Yep, we are in the clear. 35-ish in the back where the chip is at. We are all good and let's just play Gear Club. All right, we are in Gear Club. Before we start, let's just check the settings and I don't think there's anything much here, but yeah. Uh, KPH to MPH, doesn't really matter to me. Power savings on and off, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's about it. You can't really change the settings because like, anyway, everything's optimized for the iPhone. So yeah, just download and play. Let's see how this goes. I am not much of a racing driver, so forgive me if I start crashing the people for fun. Like that. Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, no frame rate drops, nothing. Everything plays pretty smooth. As you can tell from the inputs, I'm putting like, as I'm, as I'm tapping the thing, it's really moving in that direction pretty well. Eh. All right, doing good so far. Phone is definitely not heating up. It's still very cool to the touch. And obviously I lost that, but it's all good. Quick race, everything feels pretty smooth. And let's just check the temperature real quick, honestly, which I don't think it would have changed as much. Yeah, still about 32, 39-ish. Honestly, very, very low. It's very comfortable to play with. So let's just move on to final thoughts for the iPhone 14 Plus. Having played the iPhone 14 Plus throughout this video, I'd say that it's definitely worth considering because it's literally just a 14 that's the size of a Pro Max and it's great for me because my hands are huge as you guys have said and this thing has given me more real estate to play around and navigate my UI. So not much of a problem. I'm quite surprised with how well this has managed heat compared to other iPhones, I guess, because I mean, it is using a 15 chip and given how there are a lot of games out there that's really been optimized for the A15 compared to the A16. You know, we're obviously going to see a lot better CPU and GPU management. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to us. And if you love this kind of content, check this out.